What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Raider Report. We are pumped up, baby! That's right, baby. When we let's go! <laughs> Oh, yeah. We got Schisper going on the drip. We got Schisper going down, baby. Two blue collar cities together against each other with good, tough football games. And you know, when you play the Steelers, you better have your chin strap button. The most fun I've ever had in my life was playing against the Oakland Raiders. To me, that was what football was all about. My arms and the back of my neck, I get goosebumps. They boo us so bad. It was fueled by the hatred for each other, fueled by wanting to go to the Super Bowl, and it just exploded. After the immaculate reception, the Steelers wilted in the heat of their battles with the Raiders. I said, damn it, Pete, you don't even understand what you're talking about. It's not the same for both sides. Number 43. And the Raiders did manage to find their own way to take care of Pittsburgh's leading receiver, Lynn Swan. You know, we never go out on the field with the intentions of trying to hurt anyone, but we go out with the intentions of getting our job done. And uh, if he don't want to get hit, his best bet is not to show up when we play Sunday because I guarantee he will get hit. Swan's going to be thinking about us. He knows we're back there, and he knows uh, anytime he comes in my area or George's area to catch a ball or attempt to catch a ball, he's going to get hit, and he's going to get hit hard. But uh, I think, you know, he's a professional athlete, too, and he's going to have a job to do. If he can, they're going to have to replace him with somebody else. And uh, he knows this, and uh, I know this. In the past, he's done a lot of mouth and off, but uh, personally, I think he's more interested in being an announcer than he is a football player. What a week. It was probably the, it's probably the greatest game we're going to see all season from any any other games. You know, it, it was uh, whether you're a whether you're a football fan, a Raider fan, a Raven fan. That was just an exciting football game to watch. You know, and and fortunately for us, we had to win it twice. Um, it, it, it was a great win. And I tell you what, it, you know, when when you think about how the game went, it kind of went just how I planned. Right? I knew we were gonna kind of come out sluggish because we didn't play in the preseason. And then we kind of yeah. it off. our defense played very well. You know, like yeah. I said. I guess in the beginning, we weren't, uh, you know, I don't Ugh. anticipate us to be a number one ranked defense in the league. We still no. 27 points. But, hey, if we could be a mid-tier defense, we're going to be right there in the end as, as a team. So Let me that's, let that's, me interrupt you guys. I'm sorry, to, I'm, sorry to, I'm sorry to say this. I, I, it's, it's delusional what you're saying right now because your Raiders, I hate to say this, had the game in their grasp. They still have signs of Raiderness. Um, I will give you credit. There's a couple of things I want to give you credit for so that you don't think I'm shitting on the Raiders irresponsibly. I want to be responsible with my shittiness to the Raiders. By the way, this is Steeler John. Derek Carr, Derek Carr had an amazing game. I said he had Hall of Fame throws on some of those drives. In the second half. In the second half. However, game. you did not need to go for it on fourth and one. You should have kicked the field goal. You're there to win the game. However, the false start penalty at the goal line and your receiver fumbling the ball, so Raiderish. So you okay. still have some of those Raiderish tendencies. So you may have Carr, who I agree, best week one in NFL, in the NFL. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Hands down, the best week one in the NFL. Now, are the Baltimore Ravens defense as good as the Pittsburgh Steelers defense? And to that, I say TJ Watt is in town, and yeah, you me, guys are me, ready to me, feel the TJ Watt. Let me let me uh, let me uh, rebuttal your uh, your your statement there, John. I agree. There were some things that were very Raiderish what we've had to deal with in the past. Now, what's different about this team? We lose this game. We lose this game last year. Okay, we're down fourteen nothing. Our hearts are ripped out, and we give up, and we get blown out. That didn't happen this year, okay? And I'm just going to apologize there. right now because I okay. apologize on the thread because I was already – like, what would Joe say is true. Yep. After the 14-0 start, I was like, it's over. We're fucked. Yep. That's it. Yep. And what did I say? We're going to win this game. I could feel it. And check it out. At Even though I picked us to win, I gave up. Done. We lose twice. 14-0, we give up and we lose. At the end of the game, we throw that 
Willie Sneed right through his hands, interception in the end zone. We lose that game last year, but we didn't this year. The defense came through, got a turnover, and we won the game. So um, I, I agree with a lot of what you said. There were some things in there, John, that I mean, like I said, Lakeman John Green said he died multiple times. I died about three times watching it in the last 30 seconds of the game. So uh, you're the last two minutes. So who's game. who's calling the plays on fourth down? You guys are there to win the game, right? Yeah. Why are they running for it when you need to kick the field goal anyway to win the game? Why not take the point yeah. right there? I don't. I don't necessarily. I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with your statement there, John. I think you still go for it. I think you're there. You are there to win the game. You know, uh, just like what uh, uh, when when you're playing a team that's that good. My mentality is during the game. If you have a chance to score a touchdown versus a field goal, if you kick that field goal, you're one step closer to losing, especially when you're playing a good team like Baltimore. Plus, plus, you take into account everything that happened this last year. We did the whole thing where you run it down, you run the clock, Mr. <laughs> TJ Watt. You run down the clock and you do the field goal, and then we still lost. Yeah. So you know what? I don't know what Gruden's thinking. It doesn't matter what he's thinking. He just won. Yeah. He just won, baby. That's yeah. all that matters, Johnny. Yes. And all the yeah. and we'll look, uh, Listen, I, I'm grateful. And, uh, the, Steelers are, the Steelers are tied in first place with the worst a team in we first place. We did you a favor. We did you a favor. You did us a great favor. And you're now you need to do us favor. one back and bow down and kiss the pig because the Raiders are going to have to win this game. <laughs> right. And I, I, was, I, admit, uh, I was pretty surprised with, uh, with how shitty Carr did in the first half and still threw for 435 yards. Yep. To your point, and I hate that saying, by the way, but to your point, Junior, that's why I thought this is it. He started off so bad. They started off scoring. Plus, they were getting the ball back at halftime. I, right there, I was like, we're, we're toast. Yeah. We're toast. So it was an exciting game. We pulled it out at the end. And again, I'll go back to this is the, this is the game that we lose last year, but this is a different team. A different mentality. I was having way too much fun. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to rip that off at the game too. This is See, that, that's the thing. Okay, I'm just gonna come out saying right now because there's a lot of people already making bets like who's gonna get in trouble, who's gonna get out of the game. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not getting kicked out of that game. We paid too much money. <laughs> All right, we'll I, see. I will back you guys up. <laughs> I'll help you out, but at the end, if I have to skirt to the side, I'm not getting kicked out. All right. I'll be like that guy that was like, I, I did everything I could to, to stop the fight, but at the end of the day, I'm not getting kicked out. I hear you. I hear you. I might have to wait. Unless it's a blowout. If it's a blowout, then all, costs, all bets are off and we're probably going to go to jail. <laughs> all right. All right. Good. Okay. okay. Good. Got it. Picking down to nine. Good. All right. Let's get to the next topic. Yeah. What about those picks from last week? We had some hot picks. You know, unfortunately, we cost the Raider Nation and SoCal Raider Report. It's a new feature that we have, and there was a lot of hot picks out there. We probably cost $5 million to $6 million in gambling fees. Vegas should be grateful and invite us out for the Super Bowl this year. Uh, if not, they'll invite us next year, Ernie. We'll get a suite. But uh, our picks are the hottest picks on the Internet right now. So stay tuned for this week's picks. Yeah, I think, that th I think the picks are cool, and that's why – we're doing this right now because our format's changing, right? Yeah. Yep. We used to just kind of do it one once a week. We're going to kind of move on to that Michael Rentz style. Shout out to the whatever Raider Report he's called. Ten Las Chucky Vegas, Heads. Las Vegas Raider Report. Yes, it's pretty good. I got to I gotta admit, I give shout out to that, to Michael Rentz, and uh, he, he does with his people. And they're cool. But, you know, we're more of a grassroots. Yeah. We've been here for a long time. And the truth of the matter is, let's get right into it. Do you guys, I know you're going to do your hot picks of the week, whatever you call them, pillaging picks. What about this week's game? I know we had said we had our picks, and now I can review them. I have them right here on the whiteboard. But after all the injuries, after everything that happened last week, on a short week in Pittsburgh, is anybody changing their mind? Uh, if you want, I'll go first, Raider Earn. Yep. Um, I'm definitely not changing my mind. Let me, let me tell you uh, what I feel about this game. I feel like I'm not going to discount Pittsburgh defense. Uh, I think they have a great defense. That's really the only thing that really won the game for them against Buffalo. Yep. Um, uh, but they also, I predicted them to win, win against Buffalo, not because they're a better team than Buffalo, but I, I thought they would 
they would win because they're they're a veteran team. And Buffalo is a young team that thought all the preseason hype was going to give them wins in the NFL. And they have to understand, you got to play the game. And, and Pittsburgh showed them that. Uh, Pittsburgh defense, at least. Uh, Pittsburgh offense is something to be, there's, 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 there's not much left anymore in Ben Roethlisberger's tank. You know, yeah. yeah, let me tell you what I think about Pittsburgh offense. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. They look terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, so Pitt- their offensive line is in shambles. Johnny, you got to admit this. Yeah, and, and you know, the Raiders' offensive line is kind of in shambles too, but at the same time. They are also in shambles. Carr is a. I don't, Carr, I mean, Carr, I don't know how you went, I don't know how you went from Raiders to. Uh, you, you asked me a question, I, I would hope you allow the six time world champions to respond. Is okay, the good. Fact good. That, hold on. We just said about the I'm offensive say, line. We didn't get I'm gonna say, all that crap. I'm going to say Ben Roethlisberger from Buffalo has an elite defense, right? A Super Bowl caliber defense. That's what got them they had with a defense, Super Bowl with the Super Bowl the caliber quarterback. Game. Let me let me explain to you boys what a first team rookie on the center position, first team rookie on the guard position for the Steelers. Najee Harris picking up blitz packages that he hasn't seen before. Najee Harris played 58 offensive snaps out of 58. The first time a rookie has done that in Pittsburgh ever. So let me tell you the confidence they have in this young man. They're putting him out there to pick up his blitzes. Y'all have some injuries coming in. And so that offensive line at Pittsburgh is looking stronger and stronger each week. Mike Tomlin. Yeah, that's true, but let's it, pivot back to what Joe's saying, because I think Joe's point was, you guys' offensive line is not that great. We're also banged up, so that's kind of a wash. I don't think I don't I don't understand why it's not so great. They held the Buffalo Bills. You played against the Baltimore Ravens, who have declined on the defensive front. Ever it's since Ray been, no, no way. They've always Ray been Lewis left. Defense. Ray Lewis left and people aren't afraid of getting murdered. They got Patrick so they, Queen, left. they got all these guys. Come on. The, no, the murderers, the murderers are gone and the and the Ravens aren't as good. Humphreys, they got Humphreys. Okay, Humphreys. Who targeted Hunter Renfro, by that. the way. Don't, don't you think we forgot about that. Okay. Humphreys. By the way, targeted. The, the, the Steelers gave away Villanueva. Guess who the Raiders ran over all night? Villanueva. Villanueva. We don't have him on our team anymore. We got rid of that old trash, that old <laughs> army bastard. And I could say that because he's a traitor to this Steelers organization. Wow. No, I'm just kidding, Villanueva. I love you. You're an army guy. Don't don't edit that out, Ed, uh, Ern. Please. I'm an army guy. Too. I don't know. robot does the editing. It's not even me. You didn't know about Villanueva being a U.S. Army Ranger? Yeah. No. He I didn't play oh. like one. He played like a piece of shit because he was like, "Oh, how dare you!" He's the, one that, <laughs> he's the Mad he's Max the one, AFC he's the Player of the Week. Came out. He's the only one that came out for the national anthem when all of Pittsburgh stayed inside of the locker room. Whoa, are you serious? Joe, yes. Joe, you go straight. Joe, you go straight to hell. Joe, you go straight to hell for that right there. That's exactly okay? what happened. That's exactly what happened. The doomsday uh, did, did that not happen, John? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> wait, a wait a minute, I didn't even see that. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. All Pittsburgh stayed in the locker room uh, for the national anthem. He took a step the forward. Way we came out. Camera angle. Are you the serious? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I, I don't. I mean, that sucks. But like, like last, why? Last year. Because they no, don't. It wasn't last year. It was two like years ago, maybe. Three years ago. All right, whatever. And like he stumbled out, but like crossed his arm. I mean, there was a lot of controversy. What? About it. Look it up on the internet, Ernie. Look it up on YouTube. I did not know that. Yeah. We're going to look that up. We're going to follow up on that. Who's it? Who's your. What's your not American, Pittsburgh's not an American football team. That's why. They're not a, they're not a U.S. You know what? That's sad because I, I'm, I'm going to Pittsburgh with a lot of respect. I'm going to say it right now. I. I I think that even though they're one of our most hated rivals, especially that piece of shit picture back there behind you, for the most, <laughs> I have a tuck roll, one of the most disgusting displays of football unfairness. It's it's a respected town for me. It's like when we went to Green Bay. Now, Another are the fans there going to treat us the same? Because we were treated like kings when we were in Green Bay because we have great knowledge of the game. We have great knowledge of the history of the game. So I'm expecting the same treatment. And I'm not going over there trying to be like acting up. I'm telling you. Okay. I think it's, I think it's going it. to be I think it's going to be a great game. I think deep I think defensively 
Uh, Pittsburgh strong, probably honestly. Pittsburgh probably has one of the best defenses in the league, if not the best, the best defense. And with all due respect um, to T.J. Watt, he had five quarterback hits last week. So did Max Crosby. So Max, Os- uh, Max obviously right now doesn't get paid a billion dollars like T.J. Watt does, and he's still doing the same thing. This but is. I think Max got me. six. I think Max got six QB hits. Yeah, so, I and, mean, and pilot, did, he call, did he cause any fumbles? And the AFC got two sacks as well. He's the AFC player of the week. So, obviously, he impressed everybody else in the AFC. And, and yes. uh, But at the same time, Pittsburgh defense is better than the Raider defense. They are better than the Raider oh, yeah. defense. But the Raider no, Pittsburgh offense, defense is going to be probably the tough, like you said, Joe, it would be the, probably the toughest defense we see. But here's what I think. I think the Raiders are going to use the same game plan they did against the Bears. Remember when they beat Khalil Mack? Mm-hmm. Cleo Mack was wrecking the NFL at that point. And the Raiders came up with a game plan against him. And I, bear, I almost can guarantee you it's going to be the same game plan. So I'm going to watch that uh, here, film. Here, here's my problem, Ern. We can take that... you away. We're going, to take, we're going to take Watt away. Okay, fine. Take Watt away. You, you're, your longtime rival, Ingram, is in there for a reason. They picked him up. He chose less money to play in Pittsburgh. Oh, he now, knows your Raiders. He knows now, your we, Raiders. We, he, we passed on him. He he knows your Raiders. He, passed on he, he plays out. He played out of his mind last week against the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I think I think Pittsburgh played Melvin inspired the football last week. Pittsburgh played inspired football. Everybody, everybody, including you, John, um, except for me, uh, picked them to lose. Okay, I picked the Pittsburgh Steelers to win last week, but everybody was picking them to win or picking them to lose, and they were picking them to lose substantially. Veteran teams like that hear that, and and they came through and won the game. Whether it was the defense or offense, obviously the defense is a strong point of Pittsburgh, uh, their offense. I think we got two teams that are going in two different directions. The Raiders are on the rise, and Pittsburgh's on the decline. And that's what's happening right now. Hey, John, I also have a question. Um, so yesterday I went on the injury report, and I saw Big Ben on there did not practice on Wednesday, and I was wondering if you had any news on it. Because yeah, on there, so big, it didn't say big, anything. Ben, big big Ben. Um, Did he have to get a new listen, walker? Listen, Big Ben, uh, pro all pros on Tomlin's team don't play on Wednesdays as veterans, so that's a choice, and they don't practice them on Wednesdays. That's if you follow uh, yeah. NFL championship teams, they normally don't practice their all pros on Wednesdays. Uh, so yeah. Fitzpatrick probably was on that report as well. They stub a toe, they do whatever. It's a way to get out of practice for a Wednesday. Ben doesn't need to throw. He throws 50 times on Thursday, 50 times on Friday. I massage him down on Saturday, and we whip the Raiders' ass on Sunday. There we go, baby. Oh, there we go. No, sir. Watching, well, watching last week's game, Ben should probably start practicing a little bit more because he needs a little bit more work. At the same time, he looked like Carr's first half for the entire game. Carr looked like Yeah, he should have practiced Wednesday. Yeah, he looked like crap the first half, but, but I anticipated that coming out. I mean, we didn't play anybody anybody in the preseason, which I don't agree with. I think we should get at least some playing time in the preseason, some game action. Uh, but hey, we did it. I like how I like how that guy Vinny Baum put it. You know, Kobe used to come out in games fucking dead cold. Mm-hmm. Couldn't hit the damn rim. And then at the end of the game, you just you just what, what I would ask you guys that's what, is that's what that's what Black Raider le- does. Last year there was no preseason games. No one even remembers that. Yeah. Preseason is a way for the NFL to make more money. College football comes out week one. They haven't rehearsed. They come out. They play. Everything's on the line. That game is more important than everything else. And yet the NFL puts it in our head that we need a preseason game. Preseason is only to establish who's on the team. Make no mistake about it. But also, preseason used to kind of give guys their leather. You know, kind of get you ready. No, man. A little leather on the the skin. The Buffalo Bills, although they didn't win four Super Bowls, they went to four straight Super Bowls. (laughs) They never hit in practice. They, they didn't play any of their guys in preseason. These are pros. They know what they're doing. They'll figure it out. They should, no preseason. Get rid of it. It's I, stupid. Yeah, I agree with you to an extent. I agree with you, John. But I'm just saying that's why that's why I feel like the Raider offense came out a little bit sluggish. Carr was, Carr was just focused on Waller. Uh, and then, you know, as the game progressed, 
you know, you could tell the offense just got started getting into a groove. And we're not going to need that any. We're not going to need that again. Just the first game of the season. Plus, but, you know, yeah. Raider fans need to learn to be quiet on offense in the stadium. Like we haven't figured that out. Raider Nation just was going 100 percent loud the whole game. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I wasn't there. So, uh, a lot of people were there. Said that. I just heard it was just an okay. Amazing, so what, amazing what are we getting into? My right, my getting, pillaging. What you're getting into is your guys' predictions for the. Picks what about my pill- when are my pillaging picks coming? Here's out? what it was. Because- Jones, Joe said, Lambs over Bears. Correct. They destroyed them. You said your Steelers beat are going to beat the Bills, and I said, and I was close, but the Browns did not beat the Chiefs, so I lost there. So I'm out. So basically, I'm one and zero on our Raider record, and one and zero on our pillaging picks. Yep. At the only one undefeated at this point. Because yes, John did. John took the L on our Raider season. Little Joe didn't. Where did John go? Pick. Little Joe didn't have a Pilsen pick. So there he is. I'm picking. I'm picking against the spread here, and I'm telling everybody to take the Houston Texans getting 13 points against the overrated Cleveland Browns. Okay. That isn't how Deshaun Watson playing this week. Maybe. Uh, no, oh, Deshaun okay. Watson doesn't have to play because yeah. Tyro Taylor or whatever. How you ever say that Tyrod Taylor's. Tyrod, Tyrone, Ty, whatever so his name Houston's is. you Houston's going to cover the spread? Houston will cover the spread. That's my pillaging pick. And oh. also, Monday night, take the underdog. So take I, Detroit Lions? Detroit Lions plus the points? Detroit Lions plus the points. What was so bad about Jared Goff? They came back against the 49ers. You know, they they have they have some promise. They're not playing an amazing team on Monday night. Take the points. You know, technically, you know, I, I, I agree with you most of the time when, when you think about a, an NFL point spread of almost two touchdowns is insane. Uh, my pillaging pick of the week, John, is the exact opposite of what you, you just said. Um, I, I'm saying take Cleveland and give the points. Okay. Houston uh, did win, Joe. No, you're they not picking the Raiders to outright, outright win? Uh, that's already. I'm already picking the Raiders to win. That, that the, oh, the Raiders. That's already known. That's yeah, the, the, the pillaging pick for me is something outside of the Raider game. Okay, okay. so okay, I'm picking yes. the I agree with Joe. Point. Our picks are in the Raider game are going to be regular. Yes. We need we need our fans to know that they can win money, and you're going to win money with this guy right here because I'm the most reasonable person. The NFL. Anytime there's a ten point or higher spread, take those Houston Texans. Taylor is an amazing quarterback. He wow. plays quarterback at the NFL level. So Take him. Is, He's yes, going to win. Let, let me talk. Let me talk a little bit, John, because I'm the only, uh, let, let the only undefeated person talk on the show really quick. Okay? Thank you. So, Cleveland is playing is playing is playing their first their home opener. Okay, they came coming off a tough loss against Kansas City. All right, Tyrod Taylor is is a quarterback in the NFL. He's a backup quarterback in the NFL. He beat Jacksonville Jaguars, that's quite possibly one of the worst teams in the league. Um, but uh, they're, you know, we can all agree they're not going to be a playoff team. They might have a really good young quarterback and needs a lot of development. But uh, I'm going to say Cleveland's going to come out inspired and going to just really uh, tear it apart and, and, and cover the spread. All right. All right. Um, well, anybody else want to take a pillaging pick? Uh yeah, I got one. Okay. I think the Cincinnati Bengals are gonna are gonna beat the uh, Chicago Bears this week. Oh, that's snap. a good one right there. You got the Bears favored by two and a half points. Oh, uh, wow, really, really a wild pick there, little <laughs> Raider Joe by two point spread. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, <laughs> hey. You want to make some money or what? I'll tell you what, that you know why? Why that's uh, it's it's in Chicago. It's their home opener. No, I'm giving I'm giving it a hard time. It's an underdog pick. They're on the road. Cincinnati Cincinnati coming off a win. Chicago coming off a tough loss where they actually looked good against the Rams. It's just that the Rams just seem to seem to have Chicago's number every year. I don't know what that's about. All right. Now, for me, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I, I already predicted the Raiders would win this game. And I didn't, when I predicted that, of course, I didn't know the injuries. So at this point, on that pick, I'm just going to say the Raiders will cover the spread. I'm not saying for sure we can win that game. I pray we win that game. But I think we'll cover the spread. It's going to be that close. 
I mean, right now, I don't know if they have it. Five, six points? Six, six points spread. Pitch, pitch yeah, we'll cover that. It's going to be... It's gonna be a close, die-hard, crazy game. You just gotta make it out of there. And then um, my other pick I, is the Charger game. I feel like it's, that's gonna game is gonna be an upset. I feel like the Cowboys are gonna win decisively on that game. You know, I think I, now I, I, is it a, a Chargers favorite or no? The, the Chargers are favored by three and a half. Now, the thing is, it's gonna be in SoFi. I, I, that's I, I, that's yeah. Cowboy Stadium. Yeah. And that's the thing, for a Charger home game, how discouraging is it at home to have all your fans the opposite team? I just, I, I don't know. I, I, hey, yeah. I, I don't know if you guys if you guys felt the momentum, but Dak Prescott is, to me, an elite quarterback. The guy is phenomenal. He has a drive. He, he doesn't have all the weapons he needs, but he is phenomenal. And, and I'm a, not a Dallas fan, but Dak I'm Prescott not. is an elite quarterback. Yeah, I, I like I like this Pres- Dak Prescott. Now I, I I disagree with you that he doesn't have weapons. I mean that he needs. He has three. Well, they lost Gallup, season. didn't they? They lost Gallup. Oh, they did lose Gallup. Okay. Well, that's, that's I awesome. mean, still got C. D. Lamb. They, they still got, got uh, Mari Cooper. They still have a good running back. Uh, yeah, uh, but the running back is not a, a major threat out of the backfield unless he's running. Yeah. Yeah. They just they don't have that big you. The, yeah. the Raiders have an amazing wide receiver. They have an amazing tight end and an amazing running back. I'd go amazing so, tight end. I don't know about amazing receivers yet. We got to see. We got to prove it to everybody. No, uh, I think we got it. I think we have actually a very good receiving core. I think the issue with Brian Dallas Edwards is, is outperforming rugs. Yeah, the issue with Dallas is their defense, and and that's what's going to keep them from winning anything special. They may win yeah. this week, though. I can I can see them winning this week. But that's that's my pick. That's it's. And I know it's not that much over the spread either, but that's it. So. Game, game update: The Washington Football Team is about to kick a field goal against the New York Giants. Ty, twenty-seven, twenty-nine. Washington. He kicks the field goal. It is up and it is good. With ten seconds left, zero seconds. What is it? Oh, flag down. Oh, we'll keep you posted. Dang. Well, John, are you already on the East Coast or what? I'm already in Cincinnati. I've already went through the stadium of Cincinnati. I've had people bow down when I wore my Steelers stuff. They're like, hey, we're not there yet. We won't be oh there. My God. Joe Joe Burrow was, was at practice today. I drove by the uh, Bengals. Actually, I will tell you guys, I'm going to a, a, a Reds-Dodgers game tomorrow night. Um, Joe Burrow was on the practice field in Cincinnati today. Um, I yelled Steelers out. He's like, not yet, man. Give us five, six years. I'm there, you know. And, and then I, I think he wants Ben's job. I, I heard something about that. You know, like, we'll take him, maybe. But, you know, we got Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, he can definitely take his job. Yeah. Hey, you know what? When you guys win, play or win two Super Bowls, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk. It's all good, babe. Three, one, three, so. It's coming. We're coming for you. We're coming for you, John. I think it's going to be a fun game. I, I hope that you guys don't get kicked out. Just remember, you, you're going to hear me yelling, security! Security! <laughs> I'll just be like, I'll just look for Joe, and I'll pull Joe out, and we're going to move out. We'll be, we'll go in the, we'll go in the tunnel, and we'll be back. I'm just going to yeah. pull Joe out. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's all that's going to happen. We're not fighting nobody. Yeah. We'll be outnumbered. I'd be stupid to fight anybody there. Yeah, like I'm going to go cheer for my team, just like I did yep. in Green Bay. And if Pittsburgh fans are too immature to understand that people like other teams, then we'll see what happens. Nah, dude, we'll be fine. Joe, Joe's one of the coolest dudes I know. He's always nice to everybody around us, so yeah. we'll be fine. It'll be a fun time. Joe's an yeah. ambassador, so. All right, guys. Well, man, we're excited. Yeah. We'll have some footage. We'll have <laughs> some footage. My dad always seems to be in a brawl, but <laughs> somehow stays out of the fight. <laughs> exactly. I have a prediction. Steelers 28, Raiders 10. Thank you guys very much. Oh, wow. My God. Oh, wow. All right. So, I don't know if that's quite my score. Yeah. That's a little different from what Chase I Chase Claypool's getting a touchdown. TJ Watts returning one for a touchdown. Ben Roethlisberger's going to throw another touchdown. Probably to Juju, maybe Najee. There's three touchdowns right there. There's 21 points. I'm thinking there's a field goal. Um, I mean, you, you got some flexibility there, but that, that's a lot of points. Guaranteed so points. Big Chase Ben Claypool. has a really weak arm. I, I feel like I feel like the Raiders are going to get a pick six. I think 
Moore, Trayvon Moore is going to get a pick six. Yeah. Touchdown. I think if the Raiders switch defenses with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or someone else, maybe that's possible. But with your defense out there and you played the old time um, Ravens that tried to pick up a bunch of old timers and it didn't work week one against the Raiders. Hey, good win week one, Monday night. And you guys Enjoy have zero running game. Lag. Like you have no running game. Like nothing. Who, who the hell is you guys running back? Najee Harris? I, will, I can't wait to sit next to you this week. I can't wait for it. Aaron. How did he do last time? How did he do in the last game? He played 58 downs and he blocked. You know what? I'm not going to defend him. Did he have 20 yards? He is 33 yards. Thank you. Did he have two touchdowns like Josh Jacobs? Josh Jacobs uh, scored from the one. Just want you to know. No, he did not. He had a 20 yard scamper to the end zone. I don't know if you saw that. Maybe that was in between uh, what, eating some pancakes or whatever you're doing. But no. Now Jay Harris has 16 carries from 45 yards for an average of 2.8 yards per carry. Wow. That's and, impressive. And he had 2.8 yards per carry with a long of 18. So you take that 18-yard carry out, he probably had one yard per carry. Hey. Well, Josh Jacobs had a long of 18, too, but that was a touchdown. Though. Yeah. Hey, how about you guys go fuck yourselves? How about that right there? All right? <laughs> wow, what the? We will see you in Pittsburgh. That's right. This is a kid show, John. <laughs> John, a kid show. You've turned to onion, John, in your old age. Well, that's yeah. it, guys. Thanks for coming out. So Report. We'll be on the road. Raiders going to win. Let's go. Right. Let's go, baby. That's right, baby. That's right. My nephew. All day Raiders. Peace out, baby. Love All you guys. Raiders. See you All out right. there. All right. Bye-bye.